One of the questions that came up while interacting with my dear connections looking for data analyst jobs is how can I prepare for data analyst role and how should I prepare for the interview? Well, the fact is there is wealth of information on how to prepare for the interviews, but there is little what convinces an employer to hire you. So in this quick yet informative video, I am here to share what to expect in data analyst interviews and what makes a candidate to increase his chances of getting a job. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. If you haven't watched my previous video regarding top skills for data analyst jobs, I would recommend to watch that first. This will give you an idea what skills you need to focus on for any data analyst role. I have divided this video in some sections so that the content gets simplified and you get the most benefit out of it. Coming towards the first and foremost phase of your interview, which is phase number one, HR round. After preparing yourself with all relevant industry skills, after putting in hours of your time, energy and soul into your projects, you have applied for several jobs matching your skill sets. And bingo, fortunately your profile appears on the top of the list and you get shortlisted for your data analyst job interview. So every interview will probably start with the HR round. The very first step after your resume passes the initial requirement screening is call with the HR. This call is typically with the recruiter for the position to get a sense of your job experience, provide you details about the position, gauge your interest and maybe they'll ask about your salary expectations. Now once you're cleared with this first phase, you enter the most important phase of your interview. Well, the phase of interview can be directly technical interview or this may be hiring manager interview followed with a technical screening. But we will take both into consideration as you may face both. Coming towards phase number two, which is hiring manager interview. After talking to HR, the next call is normally with the hiring manager. Ask any manager what it's like to make a hiring decision and they will most likely tell you that it's not an easy task for them. Making the right choice can be difficult, especially when they are choosing from a group of well-qualified applicants. So let's figure out how can you tip the scales in your favor. Any hiring manager is mostly interested in these two common questions to gauge if you are a good fit for the particular position. Mostly these questions revolve around tell me about your experience and why are you interested in the position. Well, let's decode and find out how can you tackle these. Firstly, the questions like tell me about your experience. Any job has set of duties you will be responsible for. So knowing your prior experience can help your interview gauge how prepared you are for the particular role. Don't answer the question by going through each and every job on your resume and what did you did in each of the one. The interview is trying to get a summary of your relevant job experience, how it applies to the current role and what value you will add to the company if they hire you. Even though they can see your experience on your resume or application, your ability to summarize the work history and relate it to the position can show that you have reflected on your potential employees expectations. Coming towards the second question, why are you interested in this position? This question should be answered with enthusiasm. Why? Because this always counts and shows your interest for joining that company and the role you are applying for. Research the company's business and mention a couple of details on why it's interesting to you. You can also comment on your past experience and how the position will help you grow in areas where you may be lacking experience. Also research about the position you have applied for. This will enable you to quickly answer the hiring manager, demonstrating professionalism and preparedness. Basically, this is a general answer. So if you can be more specific by actually naming a couple of things you have heard or read about the company's workplace culture that you like, it will help your cause. This is the one area where your pre-interview research is very critical. Now coming towards phase number three, that is technical screening. So your preparation should be informed by the job description and the conversation with recruiters. Study the topics that you know that will be on interview. Look up the questions for each area in books and online. Review your statistics, machine learning algorithms and programming skills as well. Now in this important phase, interviewers want to assess your knowledge of data analytics and not just the tool proficiency. Spend your time reviewing analytic projects that you have worked on previously or if you have any previous analytic experience or training, be prepared to tell them that what business problem was, what was the data processing steps, 
what was the algorithm used for creating the models and most importantly why and how you feel the model result implemented you may be asked about challenges you faced at any of the stages so do review issues and challenges in your past projects and how they were resolved whatever you deliver make sure that you know each and every minute detail of the concept you explain or any problem solution you deliver now all the preparation in the world is not enough if you do not communicate effectively mentally practice answering mock questions focus on questions related to past experience and business process with full answers so that you are not thinking too much on the fly at the actual interview now coming towards the phase number 4 which is post hr interview clearing phase number 2 and 3 would seem a bit challenging but at the same time it's fruitful and rewarding reaching at this phase is like almost winning a long marathon as this is the final step of your interview process where you will be discussing about company's culture shift details and salary discussions as well here you can show off your negotiation skills and finally you're great to wrap up your interview session last but not the least follow up with a thank you emails this is probably a standard etiquette for any interview but remember to send a personalized thank you email within 24 hours of your interview Also if you have thought of a perfect answer to the question you couldn't solve during the interview include it as well don't forget to express your enthusiasm for the work that company x does and your desire to work with them and finally repeat if you get a offer letter congratulations close the tab and celebrate and unfortunately if not simply use the lessons you have learned from your past interviews to prepare for your next interviews Interviews are the good way to identify your areas of weakness and consequently become a better candidate for your future openings. Like the excellent data analyst you are, analyze your interviewing process and up for your future odds. I wish you all the best for your future interviews and we wrap up our video here. If you like this video, don't forget to like and share my channel with the data analyst job aspirants in your connection. If you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe my channel this motivates me to bring such amazing and impressive content with you all thank you so much for watching stay safe take care and bye bye